Yeah, man. Hey, man, I think it's about time, man. I really think it's about time for us to, you know what I'm saying, go on here and take that ride, you dig? Take that ride, man. Y'all with me, man? Y'all meet me out there, man. This mission, man. This mission from Shy to LA, baby. I'm on the mission. Say what? Do what? Why you niggas trippin'? Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm on the mission. Say what? Say what? Why you niggas trippin'? Yeah. I'm on the mission. Uh huh. Why you niggas trippin'? Say what? Say what? I'm on the mission. Yeah. Why you niggas trippin'? From Shy to LA. All right, y'all, man, it's your boy LC, the one, LC, the one to be exact. You did back with a kind of like a tutorial video. Uh, but I know there's been an issue in the YouTube uh, community for quite some time now because I don't know if this is a new thing that's been going on with YouTube of lately, but it's a real issue. And the issue is uh, a lot of people channels have been demonetized mine as well um, and I have looked at several videos on trying to uh, figure out how to resolve this issue and you know get the channels back to earn the money even though I'm already partnered on YouTube as a musician so I still get money you know from YouTube that's how I started I started off as a musician first and then I seen what the crowd was doing, you know, they was vlogging. And at that time I was in, at, in college, you know, at uh, Chicago State, in the media department, where Herb Kent the Cool Gent, rest in peace to him. And, uh, you know, we was learning how to do TV production, radio production, and as well as they taught us how to write, you know, direct, edit, all type of stuff anyway uh i seen what the trend was and i just jumped on it and just learned really how to do youtube you know and i now know how to really do youtube so uh, as time progressed along i ended up you could say transitioning from a news a musician on youtube to a vlogger on youtube but i'm still a musician you know I'm listed as a musician so you know I just jumped on the trend when it was hot now now that everything is coming full circle and now that you know YouTube has updated and changed a lot of things they went through the COVID thing you know for the children piracy thing and now you know a lot of channels are not earning money and then uh, they changed a lot of other things on YouTube too and it they lost a lot of content creators because of that reason and now this is the new thing so what happened to a lot of people's channels even my channels my two main channels that were monetized my LC1 channel which has 9,000 subscribers plus that's my musician channel vlogging channel then my LC1 reaction channel which has about 1300 subscribers plus all right um, what happened uh, with both of those channels as with a lot of other people channels they came up with this new thing now saying that if you be using your videos or using other people's videos without properly uh, how can I put it properly uh, critiquing the videos as far as like reaction then that means that you're not really giving credit to or changing the format of a video that was one issue and then the other issue they were saying you know now that I got like two I got eight channels now uh, if you reuse your channel uh, your videos on other channels then that's an issue so that's what I was doing you know a lot of my videos I was using on other channels but really have I get in this situation is because I was using short clips from like NBA highlights Michigan or whatever whatever that was percolating on 
YouTube or whatever, I was using a short clip without properly critiquing it. Okay, you can use a video, but you have to have a narration of a voiceover in it or something like that. Or, you know, you see on screen like OSN, you know, open side from Shot Town, do the NBA reactions, and, you know, you got to be narrated, you got to talk in the videos. They'll change the format of that video to make it a new video. You can do a, a critique. So that's where the reaction come in at. So that's acceptable on YouTube. Even though some content creators may claim their videos, but you still have a, a way of earning money because I think it's called profit sharing. It's called profit sharing on YouTube. So I learned all that stuff over the years. That's time for just long. I was trying to figure out like how are these YouTubers doing all these reactions in the seven seven, especially OSN. He was doing the NBA reaction. Uh, and as you know, he's a, I guess he became a partner. I tried everything, you know, to try to get partnered with the NBA. And, you know, because y'all know I'm a real hooper. You know, that's how I started. I was an all-star, you know, hooper. And I showed y'all that. I just came back at 45, 46. Still dunking the basketball, all that stuff. So y'all seen it. Uh, if y'all been watching. But anyway, I was trying to figure out how he became a partner, you know, with the NBA. But. You know, he got his own way of doing his videos. So they got him in the crowd and got him in the algorithm. Now he viral, so they really can't deny what he's doing. But anyway, back to this issue of reusing the videos. Now that was the issue. Reusing the videos is the issue. Um, that a lot of people that, you know, their channels got demonetized, it was because of that reason. So that was my bad on that part, but they didn't have to demonetize our channels like that you know especially for a 15 10 second video you know i was earning some change off it because it was those videos go viral quick 30 second videos etc etc you know but it is what it is man but now that i know what i know now and that is how to get back monetized I wasn't really paying attention I was like damn man it's like I did everything they asked I pushed all the other videos down uh, I really didn't delete the other videos because they said uh, if you delete the videos they can't review it you know so they can you know uh, see what you did wrong and see if they accept you back in their program so on my, I think my LC1 channel, I deleted like all the videos that I used and then do a proper critique on. So that kind of got me, you know, like in the red with them because I had to submit like a live video. I had to do a live video for that, for that, you know, and it's like they didn't accept, you know, that. So that was my bad. Then on my LC1 reaction channel, um, I didn't delete all their videos. I just it was minimal like shorts that I had did on that channel so they still reviewed I did a video for that and they said no you know we still can't you know accept this etc okay alright cool alright so I was trying to figure it out like after you know like the time that they had the duration they gave me for to reapply was like months three months you know I did everything they asked. I came up with new content. I changed my intros on both channels. You know, et cetera, et cetera, and ooh, this and that. Pushed all those old videos down, you know, and, you know, it's been four, five months. And then and now it has been like two months after the fact for both channels for them to be in the reapply stage. And they still won't let me press the button. So I've been trying to figure that out, like, damn, man, like, how I'm going to get this channel, these channels, these two main channels, because I have six now, monetized again. So I was like, damn, I'm just looking in this, you know, at videos and researching, like, damn, how am I this done, man? Like, you know, so it just came to me, like, yesterday, like, damn, I was just really reading what they were saying. They was like, uh, all YouTube partners must meet the criteria. And I was like, what are they talking about? I already got the watch hours. I already got the subscribers. So what are they talking about now? So now it shows me that, you know, like on one of my channels, I got 1,300 watch hours. I got the subscribers, so they checked that off. 
you know, all the other boxes are checked off except and then the other requirements now is to get the watch hours again, which is four thousand watch hours. I got no content. I can just let my playlist play. That's what I'm gonna do. I got five thousand videos, so I'm just gonna let my playlist play to get the watch hours like I did a long time ago. Instead of buying the stuff, I'm just gonna let it play because I'm already getting money from YouTube anyway, so it don't matter. Either way it go, I'm I'm in there. You know, I'm about to do music videos. You know, my new, my new stuff I'm about to bring out. You know, once I get my teeth fixed, I'm going to have ice on. It's going to be real. You know, I'm really about to pump my channel up, my main channel. But I'm just going to let my content play, man. You know, I got a computer at the crib. Just let the videos play, man. That's basically the real meat of how you can get your channel back monetized. If you had the one main criteria, which is your subscribers, you got to have a thousand subscribers. If you got enough content, they were saying, because I had watched this one guy, he was like, y'all got to start vlogging. Now, they packing the bus, you know. Uh, y'all got to have the, um, y'all got to have the su subscribers, you know, and then y'all got to have the watch hours, the playtime, you know. But, um. You know this 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 is easy man so that's basically what you have to, i gotta get off the bus but if y'all having this issue man and if y'all have the criteria already like the thousand subscribers then they say if you have like five million short clip views that's one way to get back monetized i think i have like 10 million views or something like that but the watch out is the most likely thing so this one guy says they start vlogging and that's what he did but they didn't tell y'all exactly what to do you can vlog, but you gotta vlog for hours. You know, like that's what a lot of the main YouTubers are doing in California. They vlog for even if one person watch it, you know, that's one hour that that you got, right? So I get a lot of content. So I got five thousand plus videos on my main channel. I'm just gonna let that shit rip. So by the time I say, I'm gonna say January, my main channel, I'll be able to reapply again. And I shouldn't have no problem getting monetized. Alright. Same thing with my other channel. I got a whole bunch of videos on that channel. The reaction channel. So I'm going to do the same thing for that. So that's my best suggestion to y'all. man. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell button. Alright. Church. And now. Yeah, 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 hey man, I'm just gonna keep it 100 with y'all man, <sighs> that's for all y'all niggas out there man, yeah. they're saying I ain't the OG, the original, yeah, hey man, use a duplicate, yeah, use a duplicate, use a duplicate, yeah, use a duplicate nigga, yeah. use a duplicate, yeah. nigga. Use a duplicate. Yeah. He's a dude, nigga, and I'm the original motherfucking OG, nigga. Yeah, don't forget to get your custom t-shirts, you dig what I'm talking about from LC the one. You see the custom prints all over the shirt, you dig what I'm talking about. We ain't playing no game. The custom sweater, you dig what I'm talking about, yeah. Uh-huh. With the back end print on the same. I got the t-shirts as well. You dig unisex, long sleeve. You dig now we got the full zip up. You dig what I'm talking about. Straight up with the hood on it. Straight up with the back print as well. You dig what I'm talking about. We ain't playing no game. And then I got the full zip up. Custom with the pockets on it and stuff. You dig what I'm talking about. Back print and sleeve and print. You dig what I'm talking about. Print Everywhere. Then I got the yoga pants. You dig on talk joggers. You dig on talk about for men. And I got the crop new t-shirts for the ladies. You dig on talk about. Look at that. She look comfortable in it. Uh huh. Then I got the sports bra. You dig on talk about. Get the sports bra. You dig on talk about the back print print. You dig on talk about the back print print. You dig on talk about. We ain't playing no game. And then I got the yoga pants for the ladies. You dig on talk about biker booty shorts. You dig on talk about for the 
Put that peach can round out. You think I'm talking about then I got the, the yoga leggings. You think I'm talking about flay so when she jogging and everything. And I got the capris right there with the custom LC right between the thighs. You think and I got the, the custom socks. You think I'm talking about you ain't gonna find no more socks like them nowhere on the planet. And then last but not least, I got the LC the one jersey. You think I'm talking about then I got the back print on there. Look at that back print look good. Then I got the Illmatic one, my street ball jersey with the two fold on it. And then I got the little sleeve pull up bag right there for the ladies. You think on draw screen back and then I got the real backpack you know what I'm talking about LCD one look at the back look at the front you think gonna look at the top you think I'm talking about everything is looking good you think I'm talking about in LCD one's neighborhood and then I got the X Star iPhone 10 case you think I'm talking about and then I got the iPhone 6 case 7 8 9 let's order what you want and then I got the custom print you think I'm talking about LCD one baby and then I got the custom mug and when you want to get drunk and drink and stuff to my stream and then I got the snuggle pillow when you want to get snuggled with your lady yeah